This morning on The Dish, the man who might be the most famous chef alive. Jacques Pepin has been cooking for more than 70 years. He was the personal chef to three French prime ministers before he turned down President Kennedy to work at Howard Johnson's. He's been elevating the way Americans have been cooking and eating ever since, including over the last year, as his short online videos made during the pandemic became a sensation. We met Jacques Pepin recently at his home in Connecticut, where at age 85, he seems to be busier than ever. Gaston, qu'est-ce que tu fais au milieu du jardin? Gaston, what are you looking for? Some herbs? Jesus, what? Our day with Jacques Pepin began on a splendid late spring morning in his herb garden. Just smell the parsley out of the garden. It's much stronger than oh, great. what you get at the market. And even testing it, parsley often doesn't have much taste, but that. Oh, that does. That has taste, yeah. Oh, yeah. We picked ingredients for his recipe to create the perfect plate of morning eggs. So you cook a lot? Uh, I, not well. Oh, well. Is it good? <laughs> I try. Okay. <laughs> the key in this case is both covering the eggs while they cook and adding a little water to the pan. So as you can see, now it glazed the oh, top yeah, see, like yep, yep. That's what we call enough miroir, mirror eggs, because it, it glazes the top like that. And of course, you can check it by pushing a little bit like that to know. I like it pretty runny. Some people like it less, just cook it longer, you yeah. know. It's not a complicated recipe, but it's the sort of technique that Pepin has spent a lifetime perfecting. Growing up around his parents' restaurant outside Lyon, he apprenticed in French cooking as a teenager and worked his way up to becoming a top chef in France. In 1959, he moved to the U.S., where he worked for Howard Johnson's, developing recipes in their New York City test kitchen. It was through his friendship with Julia Child that he became a household name here. Co-hosting a PBS show while introducing America to a whole new array of culinary delights. And even this one, see which was the big hand. The and big if I, if hand? I, yes. You, you said hand. And this is Boston, oh. but... I live in Connecticut, the accent is different. <laughs> Pepin tapped into that wealth of experience to produce these short videos during the pandemic. I am doing a mean julep for the Kentucky Derby. What is it about doing television and doing videos that has sustained you and kept you interested for so long? Well, I'm hungry all the time, so I mean, I eat. <laughs> Cooking has been my life, you know, for over 70 years, and uh, this is what I am. A tablespoon of butter in there, two eggs, or else break the eggs on something flat like this. His latest videos are an online treasure trove for both experienced home cooks and those still learning. This is the special trick, a teaspoon of water. Cooked very gently. It seems like the memories made in the kitchen, with kids especially, oh, yes. are so visceral. Yeah. You know, if you have a kid, when he comes back from school, sitting down in that kitchen, hearing uh, his father, his mother's voice and the smell and the taste of that, that stay with you the rest of your life. At that point, the food transcends the physiological level of feeding yourself. The food become home, it become, it become love, it become security, it become family, you know. So food memory are very, very powerful. In addition to the videos, his 30th cookbook is out. It's called Quick and Simple. I wanted to focus on making people's life easier, you know, and, uh, and actually using the supermarket as a prep cook. You know, you can go to the supermarket, get boneless, skinless breast of chicken, pre-sliced mushroom, pre-washed spinach. You have a non-stick pan, too, and with a minimum amount of effort, you can do, you know, good food. With us for lunch, he shared another slice of culinary nirvana. Mussels in hot sauce, zucchini and eggplant gratin, tomatoes Provencal, and crab meat croquettes with tomato relish, served with white wine, followed by orange cake with Grand Marnier sauce. It does seem like this is the sort of plate that gets you ready for summer. Oh yeah, absolutely. Do you have a favorite season you like to cook in? Uh, I love spring. I mean, asparagus too, the strawberry and things are coming in season. I always tell people to buy in season because when you buy a tomato in full season, first, that's when it's really a taste. Secondly, it's when the least expensive. 
Thirdly, it was, when it has all the nutritional good that it should have in it, you know, so why not buy in season? I mean, without any question. We'd had breakfast yeah. and lunch, but for Pepin, the day was still young. You just find your way everywhere. There was a trip up to his art studio, another one of his passions for more than 50 years. This is Jacques, this 21, yeah. you, just, you just did this. Yes, not too long ago, yeah. Uh, the umbrella here, Pepin, my name means umbrella. Finally, no visit to Pepin's place is complete without playing a round of the century-old French game, Petanque. This is the, the cochonnet, okay. the small one. So you have to throw it between 20 and 30 feet. Okay, it's about there. And then get as close as you can. Oh, you got the backspin on there. Well, that's yeah, pretty yeah, good. Yeah, you can. Each team gets a set of steel balls called boule. The object is to get the most boule closest to the jack, which translated from French is called the little pig. I gotta try to knock you out. Oh, Look yeah. at that. Look at that. I think he's a hustler. <laughs> I gotta watch. <laughs> At 85 years old, Jacques Pepin has barely slowed down. He's already got plans for an art show this fall, and his 31st cookbook is due to come out next year. After seven decades, he doesn't talk about leaving a legacy. For him, it's all about continually sharing his wisdom. Is there anything better than good food, good wine, and a game of petanque? Maybe sex? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, probably. There you go. <laughs> Where else am I supposed to go? I absolutely made you turn red. I love <laughs> yes, that. I know. I mean, you I know what? Done. Not easy to do. No. But, you know, no. We do, we yes. do tonk, like tonk, I guess. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> next. Um, <laughs> this is the dessert. <laughs> the orange well, cake. Well, one version of with it. The <laughs> well, wow. With Let's the Grand Marnier, which was, which was excellent. Thank you to uh, Jacques Pepin. What a lovely man. I yes. You, so lovely. And, and it's worth checking out these videos if you get a chance with kids, mm. wife, husband, whatever mm. else. Um, you know, they're, they're short and like, they're just, you just keep watching them and you, and you want to learn and you want to get better mm. at cooking and you want to eat the stuff the way he makes it. Love the cameos by Mrs. Glore and Victoria. Yes. Way to go, right. Nicole and Victoria. Yeah.